Hey guys, this is Eddie. Welcome to another shoot them up video tutorial. So from the last lesson, uh, you would have discovered that uh, we can move our ship left to right, and when we press the space bar, it shoots a uh, missile. And there's a maximum number of missiles available. I mean, allowed on the screen at any one time is six, so it doesn't go over that limit no matter how many times you press the space bar the maximum number of um, uh, missiles on the screen is always six now on the surface it looks like there's not any problems but as you play the game for a while you'll just you'll start to discover the game is slowing down and the reason for that is because our array our um, missile array and missile on screen array there's two arrays is getting bigger every time every time we press the space bar it shoots the missiles and we increase the dimension of the array by one and uh, so for example if you shoot let's say 2000 missiles then the missile array will be 2000 um, will will have the size of 2000 so we don't we don't want to do that we want to realistically all we need is a missile array with five spaces because we only shoot or six we only have six um, missiles on the screen so once they get off the screen we don't really care about them anymore so um, basically we're gonna restructure the program so that um, the missile array and the missile on screen sorry yeah the missile array and the missile on screen arrays only have a size of five so how do we do that Well, the first thing we need to do is, uh, since we're only going to have, let's say, five missiles on the screen at any one time, to start off with, we're going to create five missiles. At the beginning, when the form loads, we're going to um, create the missile on screen array and the missile array, and we're just going to have uh, five missiles created from the beginning instead of creating them every time we press the space bar. So uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another um, procedure called create missiles. And it's going to have an input variable by val called number as integer. So what this procedure is going to do is it's going to create uh, whatever number of missiles we specify in the input of the function. Now you might notice why don't we say private function? Well, because when you put function here, uh, usually you would expect an output, whereas uh, procedure doesn't require an output. So what we want to do now is um, pretty much cut and cop cut and paste the code from here from the uh, shoot um, procedure into the create missiles procedure uh, we're just going to add a few things in uh, firstly we're, because we're creating f five missiles at the beginning when the game loads we want to uh, create a for loop here so dimension i as integer equals zero and we want to create a for loop oops what happened to my webcam we want to create a for loop so that um, <clears throat> we create 
so we run the following code for five um, actually for six times so for i equals zero to number so we're gonna run this code here six times so creating six missiles or how, whatever we decide here whatever number we put in there when we run the code um, when we call the function so all of this code is going to be is going to be executed for this number of times and now what we're going to change in here is uh, uh, we're not going to change the dimension of the arrays Uh, because we're going to declare them to be however many from the beginning, five or six or whatever. So what we will change is the uh, missile number here. We're just going to change to I, right? Because we're going to create this number of missiles. So missile on screen. Uh, also we're going to change the index to i so it's going to run through this code it's going to add the missile we created at this position in the array change this position in the on-screen array to false uh, because originally we don't want them to be on the screen and another thing is we don't want it to be visible so dot visible equals false All right initially when we create it we don't want to be we don't want it to be visible okay now what we want to do is define what happens when we press the space bar so when we press the space bar basically what's going to happen is uh, we're still going to evaluate how many how many uh, missiles are on the screen so so this part is quite important for i equals zero to missile number we check how many missiles are on the screen and uh, the thing is uh, actually let's go up to the top uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create missile array to be five and missile on screen to be five in the beginning All right so basically this is a decision you'll have to make uh, when you run the game is how many missiles you want the user to have on the screen at any one time so I'm gonna make it five so I'm going to hard code that amount into the program and this is something we can change later anyway if we uh, if we uh, develop some code to change that so when we press the spacebar um, for i equals 0 to 5 right, uh, for i equals 0 to 5, we're going to um, we're going to check whether the missile is on the screen. If it's on the screen, add it to the count. And then what we're going to do is uh, and then what we're going to do is um, we're going to check if the count is smaller than or equal to four right because uh, we're only going to have uh, five missiles on the screen so we can't shoot more than uh, four times right because uh, we're adding one to the count uh, initially when we press space that first that first one uh, will that first missile will have a count of zero 
So anyway, we're just going to have four here. You can fiddle around with that number later if you don't believe me. <laughs> and what we're going to do is uh, change the missile on screen uh, variable uh, at the current bullet number, current missile number. Missile on screen. Missile on screen at the current missile number to be uh, to be. to be true All right. and what we want to do is originally we're gonna have the missile number as zero so the reason why we do that is because when we shoot the missile right originally um, when we shoot the missile the first missile is gonna have a missile number of zero Right, basically, missile number is a is a, a number that we assign to the to the current missile we're shooting, and uh, so the missile number, whatever number we are up to right now, to start the program, it'll be zero. That missile is going to be on the screen, and we're going to change the uh, missile array at the current missile number uh, to be visible right and uh, we're gonna locate the missile again here <clears throat> so we're gonna copy and paste that code here to say where the uh, missile is going to be located actually I'm just gonna copy this uh, section in front of the left left variable and in front of the height and width variable All right so basically we're gonna position the missile position that missile just in front of the ship and we're going to make it true, uh, sorry, visible. And we're going to add one to the missile number. So the next time we run, next time we press the space bar, the missile number is going to be uh, changed. It's going to be increased by one. Now, if we shoot five missiles, so if the missile number is equal to five, Then uh, we're going to change a missile number to be zero. Right? Basically, we're just going to cycle through the array and uh, make them visible. Shoot them upwards. Once they get off the screen, make them invisible. And then the next time we shoot it, we we'll reposition it in front of the ship. Shoot it up again. Right. I know this all sounds very confusing, but hopefully uh, once you type it all in, you'll get what I'm saying. Okay, so when the form loads, which is uh, just uh, just here under form load uh, event handler, just above timer1.star, make sure you run the create missile uh, routine. and put five in the uh, in the input so it's going to create five missiles uh, when when the form loads and now the last thing we want to edit is the timer 
So basically all we're going to change is from uh, for i equals 0 to 5 right well uh, for i equals 0 to 5 if the missile is not on the screen if missile on screen at that position is equal to true then we move it upwards Uh, and if the missile gets off the screen, then we change the missile on screen to false. And as you can see, we don't need the shoot procedure anymore, so delete that. And then let's see if this code works. So you won't see any difference between what we had before. And you can already see... Uh, Index out of range exception was unhandled. All right, so something's wrong here. So I found the mistake um, in the program, and basically that's uh, just down here under create missiles I had a missile number plus equal one you should be you should delete that because um, that was there from the previous uh, tutorial where we were creating a new missile every time we press spacebar whereas now we're gonna create five at the beginning of the game so we don't need this anymore so get rid of that and uh, hopefully that should work. So run the program, press the space bar, one, two, three, four, five, or four missiles on the screen, it stops. So basically we're having a maximum of four missiles on the screen. We don't want the, uh, we don't want the, to be able to see the boundary of the missile. So we're gonna change this to negative 10. And let's see if we can have five missiles on the screen. So I'm just going to change this to if count is smaller than or equal to five. And see what happens. So one, two, three, four, five. Can't shoot anymore until they get off the screen. And then I can shoot some more. So that's how it works. Alright, so now that it's working, uh, so basically you won't see any difference in the game, it's just we changed it so that the array of the missiles and missile on screen is uh, not going to get any bigger than 5. Instead of before we had an unlimited array size which will slow down the game eventually. Okay, thanks for watching, see you next time.